Hey everyone, welcome back to the Legendary Cave. In this video, I want to list a few cards that new collectors and even returning collectors should keep their eye on and think about purchasing. Some of these cards are pretty inexpensive and then there's others that are just crazy expensive but still really cool. Also in my last video, I mentioned I was going to give you guys details about light packs and heavy packs and things like that so you don't get robbed when you're purchasing stuff on eBay or from people in person. So let's get right into it. Now as I also mentioned in my last video, a lot of these sets I'm going to mention here, I'm not super familiar with them, but I have a pretty good idea of which sets are pretty good. So let's start off with this first one. First we have here is Shining Legends, which is a set that's actually not that expensive to buy right now. And they actually have some pretty cool cards. Uh, one in particular is a Laboratory Mewtwo card, which is pretty cool looking. Next we have Dragon Majesty. Now this set, I'm not super familiar with this, but from a couple of things that I've seen and heard, it's actually a pretty cool set. This is one I haven't purchased yet, but I definitely plan on opening some packs on this channel. So I recommend you guys get some too. It's another set that's really not that expensive either to purchase. Next we have Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds. Now this set, I've seen a lot of openings with this and they have some crazy cards. So this is another one I need to get my hands on. You know, it's also not that expensive either. So it's another cool set. I definitely recommend you guys get your hands on. Here we have another set from Sun and Moon, and this one is Burning Shadows. Another set that's really, really good to collect. So I recommend also getting this one. It's another set that's really not expensive to purchase either. And I'm also looking forward to opening some of these packs. Next, we're getting into the big league cards. Expect to pay hundreds just for one booster pack, let alone a booster box, which is gonna cost you thousands and thousands of dollars for this set we have sky ridge and i believe this is the set that it has gold star cards in it and this set oh my goodness it's a beautiful set so if you're up there in the big leagues i definitely recommend getting uh getting your hands on some of these cards absolutely amazing now this next set i'm not really familiar with at all it's legendary collection but as far as I know and I've seen the prices for these cards they're just ridiculous if you can find these on eBay and you can afford it snatch them because they usually go real quick when they get listed next we have Neo Destiny another very expensive set but another great set that you should get your hands on if you can afford it especially first edition Absolutely amazing. Next, you have the newer set, which is Hidden Fates. And this set is currently out of print. But as you heard in my last video, most likely there'll be a, just a, probably a short term reprint in September. So get your hands on some of these because they're definitely going to go out of print again. Now, if you're looking to pre order something, that would be Darkness of Blaze, which is the newest set that's going to be coming out. So prices is obviously going to be super cheap for these. So get boxes, get a case if you can, get a mixture of uh, all the different little pin collection sets and trainer, trainer boxes. Other than that, anything first edition would be amazing to get. And there's so many other sets out there, but Basically, these are some of the tops that you want to keep your eyes on. Now, let's get into the info I was telling you guys in the last video about heavy packs and light packs and things like that. Now, if you see a listing on eBay and in the title or description, it says unweighed. That means the seller didn't weigh the pack trying to find out which one has the foil card in it. And which one doesn't so that means you don't have to worry about 
buying these packs and thinking you won't get a full because the seller searched through all the packs first, trying to find the heaviest packs. So also make sure the seller has a good reputation. 100% positive feedback would be good, but 99 point anything is also good. So just make sure you just check out the seller's history. Now, if you see an eBay listing and it says light pack, that means the seller did weigh the cards and chances are these packs will not have a hollow in it. So definitely don't go into it if you're actually trying to get hollow cards because odds are you're not going to get one in light packs. A light pack that weighs about 20.32 grams as shown in this picture is one that's most likely not going to have a hollow card. So if that's what you're trying to find, hollow cards, don't buy packs that are way around in this range right here. Now, heavy packs are packs weighed by the seller ranging in something 21.32. You might find some 21.23 grams, some a little bit higher, some maybe a little bit lower than that. But chances are these packs are packs that contain hollows. It's not 100% guaranteed, but you have a really, 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 really good chance of pulling a hollow from these packs. Now, these weights are for first edition base cards. I'm not sure about like Jungle, Gym Leader, or the Team Rocket, all those first edition series. It might be close, but don't, don't quote me on that. So... Basically, these weights are for people that they mostly look for first edition base, but just look out for those terminologies, heavy and light, and you'll know what you're looking for when you see those listings on eBay. Just want to make sure you guys don't get robbed when you're purchasing some cards. So hopefully that information helped you guys. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully all my cards arrive real soon so I can actually start opening up some packs. I want to dive in and get that rush pulling these cards. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Oh, and I almost forgot. Here's some uh, code for you guys. So good luck to those who get them first. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you get. So you're welcome. And don't forget, guys, subscribe. So until then everyone, stay legendary.